hi foodies welcome back if you saw the first part of this video where i made the coca bread thanks for joining me again so we are just going to be doing the grilled chicken breast okay this is for the jerk chicken sandwich and of course we're going to start off with some chicken breast okay you can use thighs if you want to but i have chicken breast here i put it inside a ziploc bag just to even out that thickness this is the best way to get that chicken breast to cook evenly without drying out you want to pound out the thicker part okay so the thin part you don't have to mess with that part too much you're just pounding out the thicker part of the chicken breast if you want to remove the tendon from the breast you know you could do that but if you can't be bothered just go ahead and flatten the chicken breast you can use a meat mallet or a uh, rolling pin or a clean bottle and pound it out so pound it away so don't just do that up and down motion you want to pound it out and away so that everything gets evened out without breaking the chicken breast apart okay you can use whatever seasoning you like but today i'm using some all-purpose seasoning black pepper crushed allspice and some wet jerk seasoning so after I massage some olive oil all over the chicken breast, I'm just going to add the dry seasonings, then the wet jerk seasoning, and then I'll flip it over and repeat the steps. I'm using a grill on the stove top. You can do it on the barbecue, you can do it in a pan. I'm just gonna cook it for about two and a half minutes on each side. You wanna use medium high heat, okay? So after we grill it, then we're gonna brush on some sauce. So about two and a half minutes each side, then brush on some sauce and cook it a little bit more. So I just flipped this, so I'm gonna brush on the sauce. Then once the other side gets those grill marks, then I will flip again just to get the sauce caramelized. If you grill the chicken breasts about six minutes maximum, total, you should be good. Once they've been grilled and sauced, they're gonna smell amazing. You wanna let them rest for at least two minutes before you cut them because you don't want all the juice to run out. So let it rest a little bit if you can, you know, if you can manage to resist the temptation to eat it. Um, just go ahead and cut it up after you've arrested it. If you want to dice these, you could also dice them. We're going to be putting this inside that cocoa bread that we made in the previous video. For coleslaw, I'm using my same coleslaw that I use in many of my videos. It's great for barbecue. It's great for tacos. I will leave the ingredients in the description box and the link to the video. If you don't want coleslaw, you could just do lettuce and tomato. It's really up to you, but the slaw is great in this. So you just go ahead, put in your chicken in that cocoa bread, and then you can add sauce to the chicken, add your coleslaw, lettuce. You could even add some fried plantain, add whatever you want to your sandwich, okay? If you didn't join me for the previous video, please go back and check it out. It is the cocoa bread video. 
once it comes together this is what it looks like the soft fluffy cocoa bread delicious grilled chicken the crunchy veggies it's perfection remember to check out the cocoa bread video and look in that description box for the list of ingredients thanks for watching bye bye